Hmm. Hope this works. Hope it looks good too. Enjoy your guy pretending to be Han Solo movie. So, we're gonna start off. Alright, so I got this tiny little Millennium Falcon from Solo. Um, so this looks really cool. Um, it's not as clean in the movie. It's pretty clean. A lot cleaner than the original trilogy, but whatever. So, um, there, when they went on the Kessel Run, before they had the, you know, spoilers ahead, when they had the, um, escape pod come out of this thing, um, well, it shot right out, so it looked like the Millennium Falcon from the original trilogy. The only difference is the blue markings and the radar dish. Um, because they change it to like red and maroon and stuff. So, um, it looks pretty cool in the movie. I don't know what other people think. Also, yeah, I know I'm just a kid, but I've been watching them since I was like four. I got the tip of this wet, so I'm going to rub it on here and put it on these exhaust things. I think it looks really cool, but I'm gonna make it look cooler. Alright, hopefully. <laughs> That didn't work. Let me just twist this up right there. And get it all. So that looks pretty good. Looks similar to the movie. I think the difference in the movie was there was only one of these shooty cannons on the front. But, you know. Whoa. Boy, thanks. I'm not going to get it on the inside of this thing because it's glowy in the movie. So, um, I'm not gonna mess with that. At least not right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna move on to this thing. Now you can use shoe polish, but you need to probably do it outside. Because, yeah, I'm just gonna get it on the bottom of this thing. I'm gonna rub it in. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Sorry that you can't really see it, but there we go. Rub this thing in there. All right. How does that look? Look good? This is for you, cosplay Chris. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do it a little bit on the front. And we might be pretty much done. I'm gonna get it a little bit on the radar dish. all these lines here because they did really great line work but you can't see it um so yeah now you can see it because I did this um shoe polish so it washes right out of your hands i don't know if you care about that but just so you know all right got in the crevice so here's what the back looks like top doesn't look as dirty. Looks a little bit better. Okay, I'm just gonna dab away that. I'm gonna get some more of this stuff out. So, I, yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. I love the new Millennium Falcon. I just think they did, Ron Howard did a good job directing it. Um, I loved Lando. Um, yeah, it did put a smile on my face. Well, I mean, that's not Star Wars, but anyway, sorry. Um, this is the finished project. I've got it on the stand. It needs to dry overnight, um, which sucks because I don't believe it looks awesome. Um, it feels a little sticky. Um, I'm just gonna have to deal with that. I'm gonna put it on top of my dresser. Um, it has all kinds of cool toys on there. So this is the finished project. I'm like Voldemort when I just said, PROJECT! Who 
wants to play some sabbat. Hey, this is my first video on this channel, and I've been working with my friend Emerson Kennedy, he has another YouTube channel, for some time now, and we're going to make a short film, so I need a prop. So, what I did is, when I went to Walmart the other day, I found this crap lightsaber, it was like Blade Builders, cut the blade off and did a wicked paint job on it. So this is going to be a prop for my Star Wars fan film. Uh, I put it in this bag so it would look like it's been discarded in like Tatooine or something. And I did this. All right, so all of this consists of like, getting uh, like tweezers or something and going at this thing like crazy. Now it did have some crappy Hasbro stuff so I took all of that like and scraped it away with some sandpaper if you look on the side it still has some numbers but I couldn't have scraped that off with sandpaper because then like because it's engraved in here it's not coming out a little bit anyway so I took some black shoe polish and some brown shoe polish and went at this thing it made it look disgusting um so this is gonna be like a uh, Anakin's lightsaber from a crash site or something because this takes place like 20 years before The Force Awakens um, and my character is going to be Obi-Wan's great grandson I think so and uh, he's like a Tusken Raider guy and it's pretty cool it's about a Jedi and you should watch it. I, I am not finished with it yet. We're gonna, it'll probably be finished by, I want to say, the end of this summer. Maybe earlier, which would be a lot better. So, this was about 10 bucks, and then the, like the, if you get the shoe polish, like both of the types of shoe polish at the store, I mean, I had both of them at my... Uh, house so that was easier for me but if you want to buy them they're about mm, 10 bucks both of them together so I got that and then so you want to get in the creases right here to make it look really realistic and I, I'm gonna show a photo at the end of what it looked like before all right I got this idea from uh, fellow YouTuber Cosplay Chris. If you haven't heard of him, go check him out on YouTube and see you later.